Artaxerxes III also known as Oches was a king of the Persian Empire, who reigned from 358 to 338 BC. He was born in 425 BC as the eldest son of King Artaxerxes II and his queen Statera. The first years of Artaxerxes III's reign were marked by a number of challenges and power struggles. Welcome to the Royalty Stories channel. After the death of his father, Artaxerxes II, in 359 BC, Artaxerxes III assumed the throne. However, his succession was not without controversy. Artaxerxes III's half-brother, who was Artaxerxes II's illegitimate son, attempted to seize the throne and was briefly successful in doing so. However, Artaxerxes III was able to rally support from the Persian nobility and military and regain the throne after a short period of civil strife. Once he was firmly in control, Artaxerxes III had to deal with several rebellious satraps, governors, who had taken advantage of the confusion following Artaxerxes II's death to try to establish themselves as independent rulers. Artaxerxes III launched several military campaigns against these rebellions, and although the conflicts were difficult and costly, he was ultimately able to suppress them and re-establish his authority throughout his kingdom. In addition to these internal conflicts, Artaxerxes III also had to deal with external threats. His very first year on the throne saw an invasion of Persia by the Kadusians, a tribe that lived in the mountains of northern Iran. Artaxerxes III led his army against the Kadusians and was able to defeat them, although the campaign was costly in terms of both lives and resources. Despite these challenges, Artaxerxes III was able to consolidate his power and establish himself as a strong and capable ruler. During his reign, Artaxerxes III engaged in a number of activities and accomplishments related to the expansion of the empire as he launched several military campaigns, including a successful invasion of Egypt, which had recently gained independence from Persia. Egypt had been under Persian control for centuries, but in the early 4th century BC, a number of rebellions had erupted and the country was able to gain its independence from Persia. Artaxerxes III saw this as a major threat to the stability of the Persian Empire and launched a military campaign to restore Persian control over Egypt. This campaign, which began in 343 BC, was one of the largest and most complex military efforts of Artaxerxes III's reign. It involved not only a massive army, but also a fleet of ships and a number of other logistical challenges. Artaxerxes III himself led the campaign, demonstrating his ability as a military strategist and commander. Despite facing stubborn resistance from the Egyptians, Artaxerxes III was ultimately successful in reconquering and re-establishing Persian control over Egypt. The campaign lasted for several years, but when it was over, Egypt was once again a Persian province. This achievement was significant not only for its military and strategic value, but also as a testament to Artaxerxes III's leadership skills and his ability to rally the Persian people behind a common cause. It helped to strengthen the Persian Empire and solidify Artaxerxes III's position as one of the most important rulers in Persian history. Throughout his reign, Artaxerxes III faced several rebellions by satraps, governors, of different provinces in the Persian Empire including a major uprising by the satrap of Bactria. Artaxerxes III continued the Persian wars against the Greek city-states that his predecessors had begun. In 355 BC, he sent a large army under the command of one of his generals, Memnon of Rhodes, to conquer Greece. However, Memnon died during the campaign and the effort ultimately failed. Artaxerxes III is also known to have conducted several military campaigns in Central Asia, 
particularly in the region of Sogdia, which was a strategically important area for the Persian Empire. He fought several wars against the Arab tribes that lived in the Persian Gulf region, particularly the Omani Arabs, Megan at that time, who were known for their piracy and raids on Persian ships. He is said to have been a pious and zealous promoter of the Zoroastrian religion, which was the dominant faith in Persia at the time. Artaxerxes III oversaw repairs to the palace at Susa, which was damaged during an attack by the Greeks. He ordered the construction of a new palace at Persepolis, which was one of the major centers of the Persian Empire. Artaxerxes encouraged the building of elaborate tombs for Persian kings, including the construction of the tomb of Artaxerxes III at Persepolis. He also supported the building of several temples throughout his kingdom, including the Temple of Anahita, the goddess of fertility and water, at Kangavar. Artaxerxes III is credited with building several dams and irrigation systems to support agriculture and protect his kingdom from flooding. He is reported to have built roads throughout his empire, which helped to connect the various regions and facilitate trade and communication. Artaxerxes III reportedly oversaw the expansion of Persepolis, which became one of the most impressive and grandiose cities in the ancient world, with massive stone columns and intricate carvings. Art and architecture flourished during Artaxerxes III's reign, and the king himself was an avid patron of the arts. He ordered the construction of a new palace at Persepolis, which was one of the major centers of the Persian Empire. He also oversaw repairs to the palace at Susa, which suffered damage during an attack by the Greeks. Artaxerxes III oversaw the expansion of Persepolis, which became one of the most impressive and grandiose cities in the ancient world, with massive stone columns and intricate carvings. Persian artisans during Artaxerxes III's reign were known for their skill in working with precious metals, gems, and other materials. They created elaborate jewelry, decorative objects, and religious icons for the king and his court. Artaxerxes III himself was an avid collector and patron of the arts, and he is said to have had a great appreciation for music, poetry, and literature. He supported the work of poets and writers during his reign, and was known to have personally composed several poems and hymns. The last years of Artaxerxes III's reign were marked by political turmoil and ultimately ended in his assassination. One of the most significant challenges came from his own son, Asses, who conspired with several court officials to overthrow his father and seize the throne for himself. The plot was discovered, but Artaxerxes III decided to spare his son's life and instead exiled him to a distant region of the empire. Unfortunately, this decision proved to be a fatal mistake. In 338 BC, while Artaxerxes III was touring one of his palaces in western Iran, he was attacked by a group of court officials who had been bribed by Asses to carry out the assassination. Artaxerxes III was killed in the attack, bringing an end to his 20-year reign. Artaxerxes III's death paved the way for a period of instability and conflict within the Persian Empire. Asses succeeded him as king, but his reign was short-lived and he was eventually overthrown in a coup led by another of Artaxerxes III's sons, Darius III. This set the stage for the later conflicts between Persia and Alexander the Great's army, which ultimately brought about the downfall of the Persian Empire. Artaxerxes III's was buried in his tomb that is located at the ancient city of Persepolis, and was one of the major centers of the Persian Empire. The tomb is part of a larger complex of buildings and structures that were constructed during his reign, including palaces, administrative buildings, and other monuments. The tomb itself is relatively simple in design, consisting of a rectangular chamber that is carved out of the rock of the mountain behind it. 
the chamber is accessed by a stairway that leads up to the entrance, which is flanked by two massive stone columns. The interior of the tomb is decorated with elaborate carvings and inscriptions, which are typical of Persian funerary art. The carvings depict scenes from the life of Artaxerxes III, as well as images of various deities and animals. The inscriptions include prayers and hymns to various gods and goddesses, as well as information about the king's life and accomplishments. Artaxerxes III's tomb is one of the many tombs that were built at Persepolis for Persian kings and other nobles. While it is not as grandiose or elaborate as some of the other tombs at the site, it is nevertheless an important historical and artistic monument that provides insight into the culture and beliefs of ancient Persia. Thank you for watching this episode, please subscribe to our channel and hit the like button if you like our video.